Hello, Craig here from Eagle Eye. Today, sign word of the day is brought to you by the letter W, and we're going to talk window perf. Now, I've done a video about window perf, and you can check that out, but today I wanted to give a few tips and tricks. A few of, my, few of them are my tips, but some basic tips and tricks on how to install window perf. Man, I get a lot of calls about this. How do I put this on? It's easy to put on, but there are some really important steps that must be taken first for a proper install on window perf. Let's dig in. Okay, so we're gonna install some window perf. Now, I've done a video on window perf. I've got a table here next to me with some different samples here. And you've seen my videos on window perf and the different styles and the different hole patterns and all of that. But today, we're gonna talk about how to install it properly. Now, I'd shoot this outside of my office, but I'm near a freeway and the camera will just pick up so much sound. And so I have a piece of tempered glass in my shop that I have mounted on the wall. And I've just kind of drawn in a, a simulated window frame. And we're just gonna kind of do a couple tips and tricks on uh, how to install window perf. Now, the first thing about window perf, and this is probably the most important thing. Clean the damn window. That's it. Clean it. Now, some people go, well, I'll, I've got some Windex. I'll just use some Windex and spray it on, wipe it off. Well, no. No, no, and no. Let me explain. Windex is a great product. I'm using Windex as a commercial name. Window cleaner, I guess I should say. Window cleaner comes in, well, you know, you got the spray form or you've got the aerosol can. Okay. Window cleaner has ammonia in it or chemicals in it that it doesn't clean the glass. You want this glass to look like it's brand new. So all it's going to do is not really get the old dirt and grime off of there that you need to get off of there. So what's the next thing? Well. I use rubbing alcohol. Now I tint my alcohol here in the shop, but it's, it is rubbing alcohol. And that does a great job too to get down into the, the corners and get the dirt and the grime out of there. But sometimes even after using window cleaner and then some alcohol, you still can't get it clean enough. Case in point, my office is here. I've been in my offices about five or six years and before we filmed our TV show, that I'm sure you've seen that video too, that we, I cleaned up the office windows outside and I was doing the same thing that no, normal people would do. A little Windex, try to clean them up really good, but there was still a haze or dirt or grime on there. Well, the way you get rid of it, warm, soapy water and a scrub pad. This is a Scotch-Brite pad that's non-scratch. You probably got one of these in your kitchen. And I washed my windows, all 18 of them, and I've got some big windows in my office. I washed them all down with this, and I got those things looking like brand new. Then I was able to use some rubbing alcohol and a rag and get it cleaned. Now, it's important that you clean the very corners and the very sides, because we're gonna call these black lines on our simulated window here, the rubber seal around a typical office window. And that rubber seal has a lot of junk in it, and it has a lot of dirt and holds a lot. So you wanna make sure that you really clean this very well. Okay, window perf always fails in one of two areas. It never fails in the center. It always fails on the edge or in the corner. Now, there's a simple trick to fix that before you install window perf. Take some double-sided tape, some double-sided clear, optically clear tape, just like this one, and put you a little tab of tape in the corner. Let me cut a few pieces and show you what I'm talking about. Take you a little tab, just a little square, and put it in that corner like that. That's it. 
Now what's going to happen is when you install that window perf, well no one's going to see that little tab on the inside and no one's definitely not going to see it on the outside. But what it's going to do is it's going to help hold down that corner because well the corners seem to always fail on window perf or the edges. Now I can show you how to fix the edges but the corners this is what I do. I think it's a simple little fix and ever since I started doing this years ago it always always works. Okay so I've got some window perf here. How do you install window perf? Window perf is easy to install. The problem that another issue that a lot of people have is they overstretch the window perf. So what I do is first of all after I've printed it I let it sit at least two days before I do the install and I make sure that I have a lot of air circulating around it. That just helps the ink to cure and helps get the any stretch or anything that the ink may have caused on the material. Well to install window perf, simple. Squeegee, window perf. And this is a sample piece and I'm even going to install it in this corner and I'm going to even install it over this little tab. What you do is you just pull the little tab or the paper off the double sided tape. Then what I do with my window, my window perf is I flip it over and I fold back about two inches, just like that, to expose the adhesive. And then what I do, doesn't matter if this is a big roll of window perf that I'm installing or if it's a smaller piece. And then what I do is I put, I can line it up to the window in this corner and then I can tap it tack it in that corner and then I also see that I'm straight on my line. Simple as that. Take the felt side of your squeegee and if you haven't watched my video of, about squeegees I've got where I got a video where I did a bag dump and this is one of the reasons why I have many squeegees in my bag. Take your squeegee with the felt and, a, and put a little pressure. Now the next thing to do is if this was a big piece of film I would roll this up like this on the inside and then I can pull my paper out on the bottom and then I can control my roll and my paper. Now this is where a lot of people have issues. They're doing it outside which you want warm weather to install but they pull and they pull too hard and then you're stretching this film because well there isn't much to this film. You just kinda wanna let this lay. It's repositionable. Here, I'll take the whole back off. See, just let it lay and squeegee it out. Okay, I messed up on a piece. Grab the corner, it pulls right back up easily. And then you can hold it out and just squeegee it down. Simple as that, let me do that again. Pull it up so you can reposition it, hold it out, and let, just let the material kind of relax and, let it, and then you can do the install just like that. Simple. Now, next thing. I told you that the second place window perf always fails is on the edges. So we're going to assume that this is the edge of our window frame. And I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit so I can show you what I do to trim this out. So, if this was my window frame, and I'm trimming this because it's sitting on that rubber piece on the outside, what you do is you can hold your knife right next to your squeegee and you can slide it down your frame just like this and then you pull that piece off. Now I cut it on an angle, a wide angle on purpose, but the reason I did that is so that you can see that once you pull trim away and you can be just as tight as a quarter inch and they make custom Ulfa knives with a little wheel on the side. I think Yellow Tools makes one. I think Fellers has one that they sell. There's a couple different versions that literally literally sorry, literally runs down the side and gives you the perfect gapping on the on the window film. Let me adjust the camera back. Okay, so you've trimmed up to your edge, you've got a nice see your corner isn't peeling up. Now, what I see a lot of people do too, and I'm going to sim over simulate this so people can see what I'm talking about. When they're installing the window film, they always get down to the corner like this, and they're pulling on that corner, right? And you can stretch window perf 
And see, I can't even put that down. And it's going to curl right back up easily. Let me show you on another smaller piece. And I'm going to over exaggerate this because it's, but I want to show you. You can overstretch the perf, see? You can overstretch it easily because you got a lot of holes in the material. And if you do that and you apply that, guess what's happening? It's curling up. That's how you fix that. Don't overstretch your material. Okay, one other thing that I like to do that really is a proper install with window perf, and every window perf manufacturer is going to tell you this. So we've trimmed it away from the rubber. We've trimmed about a quarter inch is what you want to allow all the way around your black window frame. And a quarter inch, no one's going to see it on the inside of an office. But the proper way to do this is you put an edge seal tape on this, on this edge. Now you can buy edge seal tape from Fellers or Inglance or Grimco, whatever your sign supplier is. It, all it is is clear, optically clear tape that you would lay half of it on your window perf and the other half on the glass. It's an edge sealer. Some of you that wrap cars know what I'm talking about. We use it on the back windows when we put window perf on or any window that we put window perf on. Now, you can also kind of make your own if you don't want to buy some or you run out of some. And the way you can make some of edge seal tape yourself is to just use some clear laminate. Cut it down to a quarter inch strip and then you can lay a strip on and then you've made your own edge seal tape. You probably got an end roll of laminate laying around that you could uh, use that for. Well, there you go. Sign word of the day is brought to you by the letter W. We're talking window perf. We're talking how to install window perf and a few tips and tricks on how to install it properly. I hope this helps a lot of you. You know, we get a call a lot and, and window perf usually always fails because of one, well, Window perf fails 99% of the time because of the install. The install is never usually done right. It's failed on me, and when it does fail on me, it's because I rushed through a job or I installed it incorrectly. And I didn't take a little extra time to clean, or I didn't take a little extra time to put some little tabs in the corners to help hold the material down, or I didn't edge seal it. Also, one other thing before I go. Window perf is not a permanent window film for the exterior. The best window perf out there is only a two year film. The best. You can add a UV laminate to it. That'll help with the install a little bit, but I don't know if I'd really recommend it. I mean, it certainly helps. And there is optically clear laminate, and we do do that here at our shop, but I don't really do that because window perf is really intended to be a temporary signage. Again, there you go, sign word of the day, brought to you by the letter W, window perf, a quick uh, install tip, hopefully. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button. We are getting a lot of subscribers out there now, and I hope that you really appreciate these videos. And if you do, just hit the like and subscribe. It uh, tells me that I'm doing the right thing. Also, follow us online, eagleeyesigns.net. Uh, we have uh, added a few things to our website now. Uh, that explains a little bit of material usage and what materials are and what we're using here in our shop so that helps you be a better uh, in, better informed buyer or purchaser, purchaser of our uh, materials. Well, there you go. Again, thank you for everything. Thanks for following. Hit the like and subscribe button. Subscribe button. And as always, thank you for your support.